Well, hi there, I'm Pam Carr, and I'm going to show you how to make a granny square bucket hat today. This one I made uh, with just two colors. Uh, you can use as many colors as you like with granny squares, and the pattern's written up just to change colors after each round. So I'm going to start out, we, for this granny square hat, we need four, one, two, three, four squares for the um, body of the hat and then a fifth square to make the top of the hat. And then once we've got that sewn together, I will show you how to make your brim. Okay, so I'm going to make this with uh, a number five millimeter H hook and a, num and a four worsted weight yarn. So uh, most of you will have that in your stash. I'm going to be using lots of different colors from my personal stash. <laughs> I'm going to use this basket of bits, so I'm just going to grab colors and it should make a really pretty multicolored granny square bucket hat. Okay, so go find yourself a number five millimeter H hook and some worsted weight yarn and let's get well, the going. The first color that I've chosen is going to be this pink and I'm going to be starting out making a chain four and joining it with a slip stitch to make my middle loop. Now often people um, will start with a magic circle and that's another step and you can find out how to do that if you want but this is for beginners so I'm going to make this pretty simple. So I make my um, slip knot to start with by wrapping the yarn around my finger twice. I pull it over, I pull it over and I slip my hook in there and pull it tight and that's how I make a slip knot. So then I'm going to have to chain four and that's going to make my little circle. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to take my hook and put it through the very first chain. And I'm going to just put the yarn over and pull it through there and pull it through. And that makes us our little circle. We're going to work into that middle circle where you can just see my finger pointing through. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is chain three. This chain three is going to count as the first double crochet of our first cluster because we start out with a cluster of three. So I've got this chain three and now I'm going to do two double crochets right into that circle. One double crochet Yarn over into the circle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So now we've got the chain three, which is acting and pretending to be a double crochet, and then two double crochets. That's our first granny square cluster. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three and into that same circle, we are going to make three double crochets. One, two, and three. I'm sort of working around the tail as I go. Now, chain three. One, two, three, and we are going to make our third corner. One, two, three. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Another three double crochet into the center. One, two, three. So we've got one, two, three, four. So now we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and go into the third stitch of that initial chain. And we're going to join it with a slip stitch. And that gives us corners of so chain three for that corner, a chain three for the second corner, a chain three for the third, and a chain three for the fourth. Now I'm going to cut my yarn because I'm changing color and I'm going to pull it through like that 
and pull it tight. Now there's different ways to do granny squares. I prefer to join it into the corner every time I change color. So I'm going to get a so second. I'm going to make a, another slip knot like that and pull it like that. Okay. Now I'm going to join it on. So I have to put my hook through there, put my hook through my slip knot, pull it through, and then just do this to join it like that. Now we're going to chain three. And we're going to start our second. So now we're going to make two more double crochets into that same corner. One, two, then we're going to chain one and we're going to go directly over into the other corner and we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three, then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to into the same chain three space from the previous row. We're going to do three more double crochets and this is making our corner. Okay, now we're going to chain one and we're going to go right over to our second corner here. Okay, and we're going to do three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. So here we go. One double crochet, two double crochets. Need a bit more yarn here. Okay. Three double crochets. Now we're going to chain three. I'm at an awkward angle here, so it's trying to make it centered for you. <laughs> and now we're going to do three double crochets in there, the same space, chain three space. One, two, three. Okay, and now we're going to chain one and we're going to skip over this cluster from below. We're going to chain one, we're going to skip right over to the next corner and we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three, and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And remember, you can always stop your video and take your time if you're following along and I'm going too fast, just pause it. One, two, three and we're going to chain one skip over that cluster and we're going to go into the very first one that we started at and we're going to do the beginning of this corner one two three and then we're going to chain three one two three and we're going to join it to the top of the chain three. And that, with a slip stitch right through like that, we're going to cut that yarn because we're changing color. That's our second round done. What we do is we put the yarn over and we pull it through there and we yank it tight. And that's our second round. Okay, I love those, pink and yellow. That's pretty. Okay, I'm gonna find so another On the color. third round, I'm gonna find another corner and I'm going to make my slip knot okay and I'm going to put it through we'll do it here and come through and just chain into it like that and then we're going to chain three one two three and then I'm going to do two double crochets into this corner so that we have what appears to be three double crochet cluster there because that chain three pretends to be a double crochet. 
So now we're going to skip over these three and we're going to go into that chain one space that's there and we are going to just do three double crochets in there. One, two, three. Now we're going to skip over this one and we're going to go into the chain three space for this corner and we're going to do three double crochets one, two, three, double crochets, and chain three. One, two, three. Some of my granny squares, I only chain two on the corners. It depends what you're looking for, but for this pattern, I do the traditional chain three. One, two, three double crochets to finish off our square. All right, chain one. I hope I did that before. Chain one. And in here we're going to do three double crochets. One, two, three. I have a feeling I might have skipped telling you to chain one in between over here. I don't know, I might not have. Chain one after every cluster cross. Then we're going to go into the corner, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain three. One, two, three, three double crochets. One, two, and three and chain one, okay? That one's not being good for me. Chain one, okay, that's good. Now, in the chain one below, here we go, three double crochets. This is sometimes called a cluster. One, two, and three. Oops. Chain one, and we're going to go another corner. So in the corners, all the corners are chain, double crochet, three, three double crochets, three chains, and three double crochets. So we're going to start with three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three and three double crochet into the same chain three space. One, two, and three. And chain one. Three double crochets into the chain one space from the previous row. One, two, three, chain one, and three double crochets into this last space. One, two, three. Chain three. One, two, three. And slip stitch it to the top of the chain three. And we'll cut that. We're finished. it tight. Okay, so there we go. That's one, two, three rounds. Okay, so now we're going to do round number four. So we're going to find another color and go into another. I'm going to use this purple color and I'm going to start out by making my slip knot and I'll find another corner and I will pull my slip knot through and we are going to chain three. One, two, three. Get my yarn sorted out. I think it might be better coming from over there. Okay, so we're going to do two double crochets to finish what is our pretend cluster here with the chain three and two double crochets. 
Then we're going to chain one and we're going to do three double crochets into this chain one space from the previous row. One. Yeah, this is better having my yarn come from the back. Two. Three. Chain one. One. Two. Three. You see each row that we do, we get an extra stitch going across. Here we had one, now we've got two. Here it was just corner, corner, corner. Okay, so we're going to chain one and into this corner, three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three more double crochets. One, two, and three. Chain one. Three double crochets into the chain one space from the row below in between the clusters. We always work in between the clusters. That's an easy rule. Chain one, chain three in the next chain one space, and chain one, and then we're going to go three double crochets, chain three, three double crochets into the corner. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three. Three half, three double crochets, sorry. One, two, Now we're going to chain one and start across this other side here. So we're going to be going into each of those chain one spaces with three double crochet. One, two, three. One. Did I chain one? No, let's make sure I chained one. Three double crochets, chain one. This is because most of the time when I'm doing granny stripe, I don't chain one in between, but for this hat specifically, I am doing that. Chain one, and we go into this corner with chain three double crochets. Chain three, one, two, three, three double crochets. One, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, chain one, into the next space here, one, Two, three, chain one, and now we're going into the square where we started, the, the chain three space where we started. We have to do three double crochets. Oh dear, I've come to a knot. That's what happens when you're using your stash sometimes. Okay, three. I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. And I'm going to chain it, slip stitch it rather, into the top of the chain three that we started off this round with. I'll just have to sew in those ends. So I'm cutting that, pulling it through, and I'll show you what we have. See how the granny square just kept, keeps getting bigger and bigger. And I like to join it into the corners because by and start it with a half so that we're not doing any slip stitches across to try and find out where we should be. It's just quite simple and straightforward. Now for the large granny square, the large adult, I make it in two sizes. This one's for the large adult. I did five rounds, but for the teen, um, 
hat, I'm going to just do the four. This is a small adult and a teen. Sometimes that large adult hat is too big for people and they don't like it. So if we've got this hat here, you see that's five inches. And by the time you've sewn it together, you've got the seams. So that's going to be a good 20 inches around the head, 21 inches instead of 23. Okay, so you need to go away and make four more squares and come back when you've got your five squares made. Okay, see you later.